right so that is data monitoring so how we collect information now once we have all the information uh, so or maybe like for example the logs and things like that so the next thing is that what is the next step so the next step here is log analysis so log analysis the primary method to locate attacker is to extract and analyze the trace of the pep perpetrator in the computer system now important network events are recorded in the logs okay and so this is actually very true so because I mean when when things happens a log is the first one that actually will be recorded okay um, unless the the hacker has the time to go into your system and erase the logs which is unlikely will happen because usually uh, we will record the logs into another log server so unless the hacker has the, has the time to penetrate into your primary system and then enter into your log server and remove the event the, the hacker might able to bring down the primary system which the one that he, he or she attacked that to but we have normally typically a log server to keep all the recorded events so analyzing the logs play a vital role in cracking down a network crime so this is the, the task so first of all log analysis we have uh, we typically would check on the network device logs uh, it could be the switch lock or maybe firewall or could be the router locks and after that we will also check on the operating system so let's say for example uh, we suspect the uh, the web server has been attacked we have to check on the, the OS on the web server and we check on the events and also we check on the network events and also the operating system events so these are the, the points of the the log analysis the key points so first who user or guest okay if it's a user there must be a username or maybe anonymous when okay I'm oh, sorry who can also be from which IP address okay when what time the event occurs where on which device or which location it could be um, a, a geographical location from which interface the attack came from and, and it attacks on what services it could be a web server it could be a FTP server or etc etc how the person en entered by a wired or wireless or could probably could be through VPN it could be one of the your employee that connect VPN and launches the attack directly or indirectly and what okay what is the uh, the action has been taken and device type and also the resources that has been uh, affected so this is the example of the uh, analysis from the network device log so that means this is an example that we can enter into the firewall uh, to describe how to analyze um, so the attack based on the, the system logs so click on the threads logs in the navigation sidebar as shown in the figure information about the IP spoofing attack including attack time protocol use target interface and also being displayed so this example IP spoof from which interface the what time the attack happens and what kind of ports that they, they, they attack to UDP so this is a okay that one is the uh, firewall logs this is the operating system logs okay so here is the example now for operating system because our operating system collects large amount of data every day so it sometimes is good to perform a filter okay so we can click on the filter current logs and then we can check I want I only want to see anything which is critical and warning and above or maybe you can also check only for critical and also you can type in the keyword I want to see audit failure so audit failure means uh, if somebody are not supposed for example to delete a file on a file system on a server and that person tries to delete some files then uh, it will trigger the audit failure so this is the uh, analysis of login and logout events so application scenario so let's what, see what is this this is to identify user who have logged into our operating system especially on the server where you allow multiple 
uh, user to log in and log out and after that analyze how the operating system is being used okay so here are some of the popular event ID so for example six, uh, 4624 this is about login success under the security log you can filter for the event type 4624 to see who which username logs in and also we can type for 46 filter for 4625 I want to see who failed to log in <laughs> right so who tried to attempt to log into our system and with what username and also we have the 4634 this is about log out successfully and uh, also 4672 who log in as the administrator so all this can be found under the security logs so here are some examples about login successful and also the failure right so here is very straightforward description it actually tells you uh, the login was successful and this is a uh, failed logged in and after that you can see the event type is this number and this is the uh, number for failure and then you can see the uh, uh, and sometimes it will tells you what username it, the person tries to log in as okay and this is example of the, the machine which is account sorry this is account name which is login to and etc and after that we can look at the locked out event uh, so this is a successful locked out which is no problem no warning no whatever and uh, this is actually a special privilege assigned to the new login okay so this is actually uh, we can also observe uh, with somebody had given the special privilege and things like that because these are normally the things which trigger our attention as a security administrator so analysis of system time change event now system time change is also a very important uh, event why because sometimes um, there are restrictions for certain application or certain uh, door access system where user are not supposed to enter a building or a certain room after a certain time so if somebody can change the time and date then somebody can actually alter the, uh, the security logs the log files will be different the, the time that uh, collect all the security logs everything will be different so it's hard to trace the user so changing the system time is a big deal so this is to collect evidence proving that a user has changed the system time especially on the laptop user laptop so event ID will be number one and four six one six okay change the system time so typically a good practice is that the laptop we supposed to lock down the BIOS to not allow not to allow user to access access the BIOS to change the system time hardwarely and also from a software point of view we should lock down using the group policy not to allow them to change the system time so this is a event which shows uh, the system time has changed okay this is also same thing uh, system time has changed so they, we can track uh, when was it being done etc etc and also to analyze uh, to external device use event so this is actually important when we want to know when was the physical hard drive uh, physical devices uh, the external device has been plugged into the system because that could be the main cause of uh, the system crashes or maybe that, that could be the main cause that might introduce the uh, viruses so these are the event ID which is mentioned so this is the one 2001 all right so then we can also look at the uh, you know some of the warning the status etc etc right so now let's look at the uh, introduction to analysis tools so lock analysis to, uh, lock analysis tools now there are many lock analysis tools in the market so here we're going to talk about one of the many many tools right lock puzzle is a high performance and easy to use lock analysis tools developed by Microsoft okay so this is a Microsoft tools you can actually download it it can analyze text lock files which is the log files appear as a normal text file extendable markup language xml uh, files comma separated value csv files event logs registry file systems and also the active directory of the operating system 
To use the log puzzle, you must be skilled in SQL language. Okay, so you need to know how to perform a query using SQL command. So, however, there's a log puzzle lizard. It's a graphical user interface and save the user from remembering complicated commands. User can obtain uh, analysis result by setting the basic SQL statement. Okay, so then this is a lot better one, a better approach. So let's look at the uh, the use of uh, in this case we're going to look at the uh, the use of the log puzzle uh, lizard. Okay, so the lizard is like a wizard, a log wizard. Okay, um, so the following figure shows the top 1,000 Windows event result filtered by the log puzzles lizard. Okay, so here's the example. You can see the uh, the, ca the category uh, by uh, what kind of uh, services that generates the event, etc., etc. Top thousand, right? And uh, the following figure shows the count event types from system result filtered by the log puzzles the lizard. Okay, so this is by successful event, uh, sorry, information event, successful event, and also the error event. So we can categorize by chart. So we come to the end of this uh, chapter. So let's talk about the two quiz questions. So the first question is, which of the following is not a security assessment method? We have security scan, manual audit, penetration test, and investigation. So the answer is very obvious, is D, investigation. So question two, which of the following is not a Windows Logs category? So a, we have system logs, security logs, application logs, and service logs. So the right answer is D, service logs. All right, so here's the summary of this chapter. So we actually spoke about the data monitoring. We spoke about the proactive analysis, or, and we talk about the passive collection. We also spoke about the data analysis, what is log analysis, and also we did some introduction to the uh, uh, analysis tools as well. Alright, so thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys in the next chapter.